In my next video, I will probably show you the Okay, for this DIY project, you will need a piece of wood. I got this piece of wood at Walmart for $7, and it kind of looks like a cute little antique fence, which um, I'm going to use for my DIY project today. And you can either choose to put it long ways or put it like this. I'm choosing to put it like the back hanger says. I'm going to put it long ways to paint it like this. Okay. The next thing you'll need is paint. Um, for this, you can use any color of paint you want. For this, I'm using pink. And then I wanted a lighter pink, but this is the only bottle of pink I have in the collection I got from the store. Again, Walmart has paint. Any place has paint. But I'm going to mix white with this to get a lighter pink and I'll reveal what that would look like. Okay, here's what you do. I'm mixing. Try to make it lighter than it really is. Now this is gonna turn out to be kind of a really, really light pink. But it's, it all depends on how you make it, and it, you can make it tie-dye or however you desire. Remember, this is your project and your pinkness, so you can make it however pink and whatever pink color you desire. It looks kind of purplish, but to get a, maybe a little bit of a more color neon pink. I'm mixing red and white to see what it results in. I'm going to get one of my paintbrushes here and I'm just going to mix. And if it doesn't turn out well, you need more white. So mine's turning out very, very velvet color, which if you want velvet, that's what you want. Like, I mean, that's what, you know, works for you. It's whatever color your room theme is. Just mix it, mix it, mix it until you get your coloring that you desire. And yes, this is the coloring that I want. I wanted from the other pink that I did not get, which is totally fine. So mine kind of looks like kind of a reddish pink a little bit, but it's really, really cute start getting painted. So you're going to take off whatever tags is on the wood, which this might take me a little bit because this tag's pretty painted on the wood. I, I, can, I don't get why they do this. Okay, and you'll just take it off. So you'll have a nice clean slate. And I like this one because it has some dents in it a little bit and it looks, it looks kind of like an old fence, which I want my room to look that way. So you're going to start with whatever color you want your first slot to be. And I want my first slot to be this awesome color pink that I made myself. And I'm just going to paint it on there. And you guys know how to paint. And yes, you might have to do a second coat. It's whatever, you know, color. You might have done a really, really light color and wanted to, you know, spice it up a little bit. But to do like a second frame, I mean to do a second coat is to make it more professional looking, modern a little bit. It's um but like you might not get the wood that, you know, is that antique look. But you know, it's it's whatever color you choose to make it the way you are. And I'm gonna do that for the same one. You want to be careful not to get it on to the other one. And of course you guys know how to paint, so I don't really need to teach you how to paint unless you're, you don't really know how to paint. But I mean, there's plenty of videos out there to help teach you how to paint. So as you can see, I'm just touching it up right now. Make it perfect for my room. I'm a perfect maker, so 
That's what I'm doing, and I'm just kind of cleaning it up right now, making sure all the, the lines go one way, just making it one. So. And here's the first slot. And yes, as you can see, I did mess up. So it's totally fine if you mess up. It's just you need to clean it up. Make sure you take all of that pink off, but make sure you get your darker pink on there as a darker pink stain so the underneath would. And it might turn out to be good, even though you messed it up. People will probably never know that you messed it up. You just gotta clean it up. And trust me, we all make mistakes, so I'm sure we messed it up, you know. Or I'm sure you've messed up one of your projects before. <laughs> Which, trust me, I have. So as you can see, I'm doing the same as the other one. But this one's a little bit darker pink. So, and or kind of like a purple pink a little bit. So I'm kind of tie-dyeing. Well, tie-dyeing is not a word. Mixing the pink with the accidentally messed up thing I did and make sure again not to get it on the other slot of wood so again I'm perfect I'm making it perfect or it's like I like to call it perfectalization which is not even, I don't think it's a word <laughs> I make up weird words like that. So once this layer dries, I'm going to do a second layer, layer to make sure this is perfectly the perfect purple that I wanted because I know I realized I messed up. And so, kind of perfect purple pink, purple pink, pink, you know, <laughs> double layer. So I'm going to do that again for this slot and I'm going to continue with the first pink I did on this slot. Okay, as you can see, I'm just touching it up a little bit, making sure it looks nice and neat. I did fix the pink so they kind of look slightly different, um, but that's totally fine. I'm just cleaning it up right now, and um, once I'm done, I'm going to show you the next step. I finished the wood, and it looks like... This. I don't know if you can see it good, but you can kind of see the difference between the pinks a little bit. But I don't want to ruin it because it's so wet. So, okay. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait for it to dry. And while, I'm, while I wait for it to dry, I'm going to show you the next project. And I'll show you what it looks like and what to do when it is dry. Okay, so next I am going to mix paint for the surprise. I bought clothespins and we are going to attach them to them. They're kind of the big version, but let's open them up and see what we can do with them. They're nice and big and it comes with a lot of them. And again, I got this for Walmart for like, this was on sale, this was only a dollar. And there had like little ones, like small, way smaller than these, for like two dollars. And they were colored, so this is a good price for these. So, I am going to take a clothespin and I am going to paint it the color that I mixed. So, I'm going to try to show you. And yes, it's dry. This dries faster than the other thing did. So I'm going to paint as much as I can. And yes, your fingers are probably going to be really, really messy. But as my dad would say, and I quote, it's all part of the experience. When you want to have fun, it's part of the experience, and you get my first clip that's pink. It's a lighter pink just to add some pinks mixed together. And I'm going to put that right over there next to the thing. And you want to do it. And look at my hands. They're all messy. It's fine. If you're afraid to get messy, then... Then you're... Then... You're going to have trouble with DIY projects. <laughs> but it's fine if you're afraid to get messy. I'm afraid to get that. I'm... You know... Not afraid to get messy, but dirt is pretty gross, so. 
Okay, so I did the second one. And you're gonna do as many as you think. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm gonna do chalkboard paint over here. And it's gonna be cute. So I'm gonna do seven of those little pins. So you're gonna, just as you're sitting there, you're just gonna kinda paint over them and make sure they're good. I'm gonna do seven of these, as I just said. Make sure you're not getting that color of paint on your thing. Um, you want to do kind of a color that doesn't blend in, but if you wanted to do a color that blended, that would be perfectly fine. But again, you kind of want to do one that doesn't blend in. I think it's that, yeah. So as you can see, it's kind of, when I get done with it, it's kind of like, oh, I see, that's why I paint over it. And I'm going to do as many of those as you know, you need, so like, if you get this board and you're like, hey, I want to only do four and like, paint the other half with chalkboard paint, it's totally fine. I'm just experimenting with this because I absolutely am in love with chalkboard paint. So, my new favorite thing, guys. <laughs> so you're probably going to see a lot of videos with um, chalkboard paint from here on out. I'm going to be into chalkboard paint. So, I'm going to just continue to paint these until I get it. So... And, um, if you guys, um, get to a problem where these things fall off, then there's this thing, trying to, my, my dad said something about this, we bought this, like, we went to the store last night and we got this stuff, and he said something like, it's some glue that will never, ever, ever come off no matter what you do trust me i had a little thing in my room and it felt like it totally it was exactly like this kind of but it was like a picture frame style way and it did not turn out like it totally fell off let me do my last one and so um yeah and i'm apologize for only doing two diy projects but this is probably enough just for your room and stuff. And I'm actually showing you this time, so I'm trying to do better about that. So so I have my seven clips. I don't know if you can see them all. But I have... I was not eating the computer. I got seven clips, and I'm ready to start. But I have to first let these small little clips dry. So I'm not going to do anything until these dry. And you want to make sure there's no pumped up paint anything on these things. Notice how if you don't want your table or iron dirty, I just used a garbage bag because you can easily throw it out and you know any trash that you have in it you can open it up and throw it out. So I have those paint things. Okay, so I got the glue working. Okay, so the glue. So you're gonna take regular Elmer's glue and you are going to apply it in the stanza. Um, sometimes you get something where it's kind of hard to get it out. You just gotta make the best you can. Okay, so you're gonna take the bottom and you're gonna apply it just to the bottom of the thing. And this can get really messy. It can be really good. So um, I'm going to space it out. So I'm going to do one here. I'm just going to keep doing that until I get what, you know. Okay, so you're going to get your pictures, your awesome pictures of your friends, and you are just going to apply it, which I'm applying it in a, a way that is okay. You're just going to apply the pictures to the slots, just to add some awesome living color, and you 
for some pictures you might want to ac um, not accidentally, but you might want to trim just a bit in the picture boxes, which I am putting some pictures in. Which, um, so you're just gonna continue to apply the pictures to the screen. Um, if you ever have an issue where your picture gets stuck to the glue, then that means your your um, your hangers are not dry. My glue is still a little bit tacky, but to be totally honest, it, it's turning out really good. So again, you're just going to con continue to apply the awesome pictures to this thing. And I'm going to be my ball. And if it ever comes a time where your, one of your things falls off, that means it's not fully dry, and so you might just want to reapply the glue. And so I will post a picture of the final product. Okay, here is the finished product. And to finish it up, I'm going to write, let the sun shine in on the foot thing. This actually works very, very good. And it's just perfect for the atmosphere in the room. And I will show you um, in my next video, I will probably show you the joke apology. I apologize, not apology. Um, I apologize for not um, for not having a great picture tool to hang stuff and all that big old process to get a perfect perfect thing. Great quote, great pictures, great everything. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks and. This also ties in with the project number two, but both of them together were too long, so I could not do both of them together. So that's why I had to do separate videos. So make sure you let the sunshine in and subscribe. Thanks and have a great week.